Can you see him? Yeah, yeah. There you go. And coming back in five, four. And we are back, folks, here on the Michigan Insider. Sports Talk 1050 WTKA online at WTKA.com. So you guys knew how inspirational are you, how inspirational Tammy Carr is. Well, in the break, in the break. So we're coming up on the fifth annual Run Tough for Chad Tough. We're going to be on the road. We've been telling you about how we're going to be at Touring Eagle Casino for all of the road games. And she said, Sam, virtual run. Virtual run. You can actually run the Run Tough for Chad Tough in Mount Pleasant. You can run it wherever you are. And joining us to talk about that once again this year, Tammy Carr. Tammy, how are you this morning? I'm great. Thanks for having me. And you have a great wingman with you today. I mean, you, you talk about a, a, a front man, uh, a representative, uh, you know, someone that is really going to rally the troops. You have Brandon Inge with you this morning. Brandon, how are you? Good, buddy. How about yourself? Doing great. So, so how did this, how did this, this partnership, this relationship come to come together? <laughs> Brandon used to play community softball with us, so we called him Charles. That's right. We were really legit back then. That was like 15 years ago. That was a not, long time yeah. ago. Um, his wife Shani um, was is actually Chad's godmother, so okay. we are very close family friends, and um, really glad they're back in Michigan. And, right, um, he's a great supporter. They both are of Chad Tough and um, everybody's favorite Tiger. <laughs> right, right, Who's no doubt, tiger? no you doubt. Still see the jerseys, no doubt. Yeah, her um, kids are single handedly responsible for getting us back to Michigan. So you thank them. I mean, you you talk about you know versatility. <laughs> a guy who could who could catch, but then be become a an outstanding infielder uh, to boot. Just athleticism, and I told you this in the break. Uh, you know, Mike Barris, when when trying to motivate people or give people an, an example of where what you could be from where where you are to where we can take you, he used to use you all the time. Oh, that man! Yeah, well, I was telling you too. He used to tear me up. I mean, one of the best motivators I've ever had in my life. And, yeah, he's he transformed me as far as physically speaking goes. Uh, but yeah, I don't. Even, I think he's down in Jupiter now. Yeah, now somewhere down in Florida. But uh, I don't know a person listening to this show that that isn't aware, isn't familiar with with Chad Tuff. But maybe there's a a person or two out there for for people who don't know the story. Tammy, let's 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 go on the journey that takes us through to year five of the Run Tuff for Chad Tuff. Well, I am best known as Chad's mom. Mm -hmm. And a uh, title I'm proud to hold. Um, Chad passed away from a brain tumor called DIPG with 0% survival rate. And our entire family said, that's just not okay. Um, so we've been doing everything we can since he was diagnosed, uh, starting with you know doing everything we could to save him. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't the ultimate plan, but we're still working hard to make sure that other kids down the road, that there's a real need. And at Michigan now we've got the Chad Carr Pediatric Brain Tumor Center. Amazing. Yeah, and um, you know we are doing everything we can, and Michigan is, you know, they're going to be the best at this. Yeah, it's you know we've talked about this before. We all marvel at, at at people's, and in this case, your ability to turn pain to to purpose. I mean, there is there's so there are so many kids and so many families that are going to be helped as a result, and are being helped as a result of of what you're doing. So you mentioned. The, the zero percent survival rate, a lot of that, as you've explained before, is because there hadn't been a lot of research, a lot of funding for research no. uh, in the DIPG. No, I mean, 60 years ago, uh, Neil Armstrong's daughter died from this disease, and he had, uh, she had the same protocol that Chad did, and that just seemed crazy to us. Um, and now we hear doctors, they tell us that they see a light at the end of the tunnel, and they believe they're wow. going to find a cure in their lifetime, and they wouldn't have said that. So. That is a really powerful legacy for a little boy, and it mm -hmm. helps us to get through every day. All right, so uh, run tough for Chad Tough. This is year five. I believe last year was the first year that I did it. I only did the I only did the the you mile. You said you were going to do five k this year, though. I, you, I was yes, right here. Yes, and you said it. Yes, next year. Next and you year. know if I yeah, if I tell you I'm going <laughs> to do the five k, I'm going to do the five k. Ira just volunteered Steve Clark to do it with me. 
No, I didn't. You volunteered. Wait, I heard Iris saying he was going to walk. Iris said he's going to walk. You don't have to run. You can walk. It's all about the t-shirt. Right. Sign up virtually and get the t-shirt. Thank it, God, that's the only way I'm making it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's what Brandon will be doing. Right. And so, so, but that, that was such a cool addition because in this area, I mean, the, the support for Chad Tough, if you've never been, it is a, it's an amazing experience to see all those people out there, their orange t-shirts. I mean, you had you had from families to little kids to schools that come out. It is an amazing experience. But then you guys added the ability for people wherever they they are to participate. Well, you know, it, it's not like it's a Michigan home game in Chicago, right? In Northwestern, that is is the date. So it's a great addition to say you can run, walk, sit on your couch. I don't care what you do from wherever you are. But you wear that T-shirt, which helps spread awareness. And MDEN has donated all the T-shirts, so every piece every dollar that you put in is going back to research and I'll tell you you wear that t-shirt and people ask questions you are part of the solution so um, we want virtual runners from every state and I think we've got 14 states left to cover so okay. 13 13 um, but you know what let's do your race people can join you in Mount Pleasant we've got John right. Jansen and Doug Carr saying they're gonna organize something at Northwestern so sign okay. up virtually. I'm gonna tell you what, Tammy wants something done. <laughs> right. Getting out of it, buddy. <laughs> right, right. Hey, look. He's learned that the hard yeah. way. I was just like, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be able to run this shit. Yeah, 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 you can, Sam. Yeah. yeah, you can. So I'm gonna do it for sure. We'll get something going on uh, up in Mount Pleasant. And folks wanna get signed up, you know, whether you're local or wherever you are, tell them how they can do that. So easy. Chadtuff.org backslash run tough. And yeah. pick the virtual run or come join us in Celine. Brandon's going to be there along with my father in law and Leith Alzadi from uh, The Voice is going to be singing the national anthem. They're all going to be hanging out along with the Michigan baseball team, the Michigan women's basketball team, the women's softball team. Mm -hmm. They're all going to be there. So if you're in, if you're in town, great, come join yeah. us. But if not, run, walk, sit on your couch, get the shirt. Yeah, and so that's that's always a real treat. Like you said, in, in town, you get a chance to to meet and greet Lloyd, for instance. And this year. Brandon Inch. So, so Brandon. Uh, first of all, you're you're gonna. Are you doing the the mile or the five k? What are you What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. She hasn't told me. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> or 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 is it that? I mean, he's gonna be busy. He's, he's gonna, gonna be, be taking talking a picture. Everybody. There you go. Oh, there you there go. You go. Right, I can do that. I can he's... virtually run mile. Take a <laughs> there you go. It doesn't matter. You'll be right? wearing the shirt. <laughs> right. Right. No, that is that is such a huge deal. But again, uh, you know, Tammy kind of talked about the 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 relationship uh, being obviously. Uh, you know, a, a big part of this, but this, you know, reaching out and, and giving back has always been something that you've, you've made important. Yeah, that's actually kind of where we made our connection anyway, was Mott Children's Hospital, where mm -hmm. Tammy and I first met. Um, and going through my career, uh, you play a baseball game, you strike out, you make an error, and that was the one thing, this is back then, with, even with Mott, um, that you realize that it's just a game. It's just a game. Mm -hmm. I mean, these kids that are battling for their lives and going through some tough times, and then you strike out and you go, that's not that bad, you know? Mm -hmm. I, it could be worse. And so the one thing that I do see with this Chad Tuff uh, Foundation that I'm pretty amazed with still is from such a tragedy and something so terrible, it brings so many unbelievable people together and so many good things happen because of it. Like I said, I probably would never trade it again, you know, that outcome. But mm -hmm. still amazed at all the people and the, and the good hearts that people have. So it's wow. just fun to watch. Uh, you know, aside from the the outstanding research initiatives and, and fundraising that, that comes from it, it, it also helps you store your faith in humanity a little bit. I mean, there are a lot of reasons oh, to of to reasons. be skeptical of, oh, yeah. of people these days, <laughs> and and something like this makes it makes it feel like okay, you know, people really do care about one another. We really do see the big picture, uh, and this is an opportunity to remind people of that. Uh, and raise money and awareness for a great cause. Once again, the fifth annual run tougher, right? Right, the fifth annual. So how many? How many runners? Like, what's the? We want two thousand. Two thousand. So I mean, that's like minimum. And we we lowered prices this year because we want everybody to be able to participate. So how many? How many were were there last year, Chrissy? The, the we were at twelve hundred locally, and then okay. we've got virtual runners. I think we're about okay. six hundred. So. Two thousand are minimum. All Let's right. Go, people. So, so we get a lot of listeners. Uh, you know, our our online stream and podcast people listen from everywhere. So the 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 mission statement this morning is wherever you are, we want you to get together 
your Run Tougher, Chad Tough group. And we want you to come on and talk about it. We're certainly going to have ours. We will talk about it during the Key Bank Countdown to kick off. So Steve and I for sure. Ira's a maybe. He's in. Uh, He's Ira's in. in. Okay. <laughs> I told you, she'll get you. Well, hey, you know what, Ira? How about you be the pace guy for the 5K? I'd love it if you're the pace guy. <laughs> It does. You can do it the night before. That's the other thing. You can run virtually whenever you want. Ha ha. Look at Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> she makes it hard on you, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, she does. All right, but we're gonna. But we are going to do it. We're committed to doing it, and hopefully, many of you out there as well. Uh, Tammy, can you give the the website once again? Chadtuff.org backslash run tough. I, I hope to see those registrations flying right now. And you know the 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 other amazing thing about it is it's a big birthday party. It is. We always do it around Chad's week uh, birthday weekend. So that's um, it's our celebration. It helps us get through that. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a great thing um, for our family. Um, it, it again puts something good on a really hard time. It's also around his diagnosis date. Mm -hmm. So it's a really tough time for our family. And to be able to focus our energy on this at this time is, is huge. It really helps us get through. All right, folks. And you can always go to the site. There are always, there's always a need to, to give. Uh, there's always a need to, to spread the word. AwarenessChadTuff.org, again, is the website. It is going to be a great deal of fun. A one-mile fun run and a 5K race. You can certainly do that here locally, September 29th at Saline High School, 8.30 until 11 a.m. But you can run virtually anywhere. At any time. At any time. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to take Tammy up on that. Hopefully you will as well. Well, guys, thanks a lot for coming in studio today and spending part of your morning with us. And really looking forward to another, another really fun year. With Run Tough for Chad Tough. Well, thank you as always. You guys are always so supportive, um, and we're so grateful for you know everything you do to help us. Absolutely. Well, guys, thanks a lot for dropping by, Brandon. Thanks, buddy. Thanks Appreciate a lot. It. Chrissy. <laughs> Appreciate it. Chrissy Wyrod is in the in the background, but she's so huge in all this, by the way. And I think we're Facebook Living right now. We like. are. All right, we got to get to a break. Back on the other side here on the Michigan Insider on Sports Talk 1050 WTKA. The ticket.